Hey, how is it going today? It is 11th of July, Thursday, and we are taking a look at the market. What kind of opportunities you can find? Uh, first, let's take a look at something that we have started yesterday. Uh, from yesterday, we can touch on interesting and maybe very important information about the BVT tax. Uh, for many business from there we can progress into something that we can continue from yesterday since there was an announcement that within the rest of England uh, importance going to be uh, at uh, transport and potentially housing to areas of importance in the short term so we can perhaps take a look at what uh, they're referring to when they saying uh, transport in some of the documents that I managed to find and uh, this video is going to be too long, otherwise <laughs> no, we not necessarily would have enough time to take a look at the uh, housing, right? So let's begin by taking a look at NHS and some of those contracts first. Uh, as you probably know, this is something that we were taking a look at yesterday that we'd be entering into agreement with an NHS where the agreement at first was one pound. The very similar agreement that myself and all others might be interested in, uh, perhaps they should be interested in, but uh, not necessarily exactly the same, but perhaps similar issues that could be offered. Uh, for example, preventive measures and all that there might be technology companies who can offer all kinds of uh, solutions to the NHS to reduce waiting line, uh, lines as of now, which is record high. That would be uh, this particular company who managed to get the contract with NHS England to top at 60 million, I think it's way higher than that, but either way it's 330 million or so without competition. So as well as uh, if it's something yourself you're interested in, uh, there's, uh, I can share, uh, it seems that they're very transparent. You can read the entire document uh, that I managed to find, the entire document would have uh, 60 pages contract so the perhaps if you have done it once that could be sort of blueprint of how yourself if it's something yourself you're interested in entering into similar contracts with uh, health services and solving some of those existing problems and more business perhaps should be interested in engaging with uh, health services and helping them from there let's progress to VT Something that was published recently, that would be yesterday. There are a lot of articles, but uh, not enough time. That would be a HMRC launch VAT registration estimator. So perhaps there's a software solution to help people who are interested in understanding uh, what to do. But always, always, I would, uh, if anything, I would advise people to consult with professionals before doing anything, right? There might be some information published. Uh, we can touch on some of the bullet points for people to uh, take a look at it and or decide for themselves the best course of action. That could be uh, that's information that I would be reading and not necessarily that I uh, myself I would be advising anyone on this particular process, right? <laughs> that the DHM Revenue and Customs has launched digital to to help business estimate the registration for VAT may mean for them. Uh, we can take a look at some of those numbers, right, since we are taking a look at the taxes. Uh, the total VAT tax for turnover of uh, previous 12 months is more than uh, 90,000 known as VAT threshold until 31st of March 2024. This was 85,000. So we have increased the uh, threshold by five additional 5,000, right? Uh, expected the uh, turnover to go over 90,000 uh, VAT thresholds in the next 30 days. Perhaps that would be time frame to register for VAT tax, right? Uh, they, uh, but uh, as, as I mentioned, a consult with a professional before doing anything since all these kind of things are changing constantly. They are uh, on overseas business, not based in the UK, and supply goods or services to the UK or expected to, uh, to begin doing that for the next uh, 30 days so just, uh, regardless of VAT taxable turnover, right? So I will touch only on this particular area and I don't, I don't know all this kind of information so it might be very sensitive, people might get affected, right? So it's something that I heard of previously but uh, again, so I would need to pull up some documents and do my own research 
what all these numbers right but if uh, it seems that they have increased it right as well as there are software solutions perhaps in the future within the next five years there might uh, all be more and more software solutions to help people to do more of the work themselves and that's an option but again that would be security as well as digital protection cyber security all these kind of things let's progress to the next article where we're going to be taking a look at them, transport since we're taking a look at the in particular vast of uh, england <laughs> So we can take a look at the, the, the combined authority and we can take a look at potentially strategy that was outlined by the state of England as well as I'm trying to secure a conference call with a new CEO. He's been CEO for over four months now, I believe. So it should be available, I would say, or we should, by this point should know what, and uh, we'll have a calendar and uh, schedule and perhaps at any time some time for a conference call that could be very important that for the rest of England and I'm trying to reach out to you, uh, administration staff and as of now we are in talk but it's a very long process for we are you. <laughs> Either way we are uh, changing how people travel around the region with more journeys by public transport, walking and or cycling. We're making transport more reliable, affordable, enjoyable, and safe. Okay, okay, so it's something that they set for themselves. So, so we can take a look at potentially what is the strategy and uh, how people can engage. Uh, perhaps that should be important uh, to take a look at what, comp if we were to step back just for a second, right, then perhaps that would give a little bit more grounds to a better understanding of what do we mean when we are taking a look at the combined authorities, right? As of now, I can briefly take a look at the map, right? And if we were to take a look at the west of England and what would be area that this particular combined authority would be responsible for, uh, there might be new uh, initiatives uh, being launched in the future, but as of now, that would be core competencies and all. And then if we were to take a look at transport and or housing, that's a place where we would were to go in the future, there would be most likely other combined authorities as of now, that's where things are. Uh, there are a lot of documents, but not necessarily we would have enough time to review all of those. Uh, we can perhaps better scratch the surface with the time that we have and uh, we can take a look at uh, but at least people know where to look for those kind of documents, right? So that would be uh, what might be of importance, the uh, transport delivery plan. Our transport delivery plan sets out current funded transport projects. Five year time frame, interesting. Five years, I don't think it's enough, but I do understand there might be a lot of money uh, at stake. We are progressing to deliver over the next five years in the rest of England, potentially up to 26 for the next couple of years. And uh, overall, let's review this plan and perhaps uh, we can engage next time the consultation will take place. We can engage with uh, the rest of England and share some views that we have the long term aspirations for transport in the rest of England, connection people. Uh, uh, connecting people and all places for a vibrant, inclusive, and carbon neutral rest of England. Okay, okay. Since uh, they're looking to introduce new uh, type of taxes, right? But either way, so we can download full plan and let's review entire plan. Okay, okay, there's a lot of planning involved. So I didn't realize that um, I have seen some of those projects and also some, some of those partnerships with city council, with universities. So I was thinking like at some of those, so I had review previously a lot of work that was completed and our team and how members of the, how many of those uh, members were worked on different projects. <laughs> uh, all these kind of things, right? But once that been said, we can uh, briefly take a look at uh, since uh, there's another two year left, that's the entire time frame and uh, to, of closing some of this project within West of England. Now that will help us and all others to determine some of these projects. If we were to touch on just on the one, that would be <coughs> e-scooters or similar zones as well as digital alternative and or travel and or app development when it comes to notifying people about uh, all, all kind of different things, right? So I thought uh, let's touch on that and perhaps on a couple other points. 
we can take a look at those plants, I guess, and uh, I'm not entirely sure if they would reflect uh, what actually things have been happening since train and all transit. I, I believe it's been overpriced, so but either way, let's take a look at it. There is a lot of information what uh, people are planning to do but then it comes to raising capital and also supporting some of those projects. So there's a d different story there, but either way, uh, we have a number of stages and more plans to work together and address the regional priorities after the Climate Emergency Action Plan, uh, which is always very important, as well as Regional Economic Recovery Plan. Uh, it's available to download and review for people who are interested. Uh, there's a task force and all, all these great things, as well as joint local transport plan. Something myself I'm interested in is it, something that would be outlined up to 2036, as well as a uh, local uh, cycling and old walking infrastructure plan. Okay, okay, and we can take a look at that as well, as well as uh, bus structure, as well as 10 year rail delivery plan. Then uh, they take a look at rail. Uh, believe it's been overpriced, but again, they need to raise uh, capital somewhere, right? Uh, but uh, that's not necessarily would cover everything. I thought it's really more in depth, as well as they have in touch on how uh, money would be raised based on the new taxes that they're looking to introduce, what uh, software solutions that they're looking to introduce, uh, what about uh, a lot of cameras, all those kind of things that they're planning to introduce. There's nothing there uh, as of now on this plan, and this it is going to be way too long. So let's close on the, this part. I thought it really more in depth as well as <laughs> it's very brief for whatever reason, right? But perhaps it's well organized, right? Perhaps I myself, I was looking for different information, data, hard data, uh, as well as uh, how money will be collected, how much uh, implementation would cost, all these kind of things, right? But either way, uh, so there isn't that information. I have a charty. Uh, a new CEO just now, so perhaps we can arrange conference call. I can uh, know what this can ask similar questions uh, to a new person, right? Since uh, uh, perhaps there might be some changes in the future. Either way, thanks for watching. See you next one.